It's Saturday morning, it's 10.30. Welcome to Dine and Beryl. Hello everybody. Are you having a happy day? <laughs> Why? Because I'm writing letters before we start. Why are you writing letters? What are you doing? Well, because uh, we had Paul last week and all his sufferings, and then we learned about the mm. fact he was writing words of encouragement to everybody in the churches. I thought I'd have a go at writing words of encouragement to everybody that watches Dave and Guy. Okay, well, I suppose I need a bit of encouragement this morning. I'm a bit grumpy. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's try that then. Okay. 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 So I'll just start. D dear Dave. <laughs> yep. Thanks. <laughs> uh, um, thanks. Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, that, that's, that's rubbish, isn't it? Right, okay, I'll tell you what. You nearly hit me then. <laughs> let's, let's try again. Right, okay. okay. Dear Dave, I hope you enjoy. What do you enjoy? Uh, eating. That's not really a word of encouragement. I can't put that in a letter. That's <laughs> rubbish. Lots of people, I've got lots of families. <laughs> Be okay. careful, guy. Right. Oh, now, okay, so let, I'll tell you what, let's be Paulish then, because he addressed it to the churches, so we'll go, dear families that watches, hope you're okay. Hmm? How does that sound? Well, it's a good start. Nah. But... You know what? I'm not good at this letter writing stuff. Oh, oh you just you just hit Let's me just... on the nose then, guy. <laughs> you I'll meant to you be what, encouraging. We need a bit of an encouragement to find out what Paul did, and then hopefully we might be better at it. Yeah. Brilliant. So let's find out what Paul did, and uh, we're going to have some friends with us. It is Dave and Guy. It is Saturday, and it is ten thirty. Hopefully, we'll be a bit happy by the end of it. Welcome. Two, day, and bye. Well, um, thank you everybody for joining us. It's great to see you. Uh, give everybody a wave. And a big smile there. Uh, all ages today, everybody, on Dave and Guy. And it's great to see you. Uh, we're not going to ask again how old everybody is. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> well, you can tell us if you want to. Uh, but we've been talking about Paul and his letters of encouragement to the churches and me and Dave are a bit grumpy this week. Um, Dave's had a bad week. I'm trying to write letters and I can't encourage anybody. So hopefully from what we talk about today, we'll be encouraging people uh, throughout the rest of the summer holidays. Yeah, it's the summer holidays! <laughs> um, so what we'd like you to do is I'm going to read some encouraging words from Paul's letters. Dave, we're going to challenge you to guess them, mate. Uh-oh, okay. But as is usually the case, things aren't that no, So, Dave, when I read the words of encouragement, I'm going to miss out some words. Right? You will have four options then. <laughs> you need to fill in two blanks every time. Is that clear? Yeah. Good. Okay. So, are we ready, everybody? This is encouraging Bible verse from Paul's letters. 
number one. Blank is the one who gives me the blank I need to do whatever I must do, and that is from Philippians chapter four, verse thirteen. I hope that's right. <laughs> Two blanks, Dave. Four options. Could we have the options, please? Christ. Joy. Strength. And pie. So Christ, joy, strength, and pies, Dave. Can you complete the memory verse? Right, I think I've got this one because, this, funnily enough, this is one of my favourite things. So I think it is pies is the one... Doesn't make sense, but you know, Pius is the one who gives me strength to do what I need to do. Is that right? Um, I needed to put my grits on that. No. Oh, I, I thought that was right. So it's not Pius. Oh, Arch is obvious. It's, we, we're talking about Jesus, aren't we? So it must be Christ. So is, is that right? That is. Christ is the ones who gives me the strength I need to do whatever I must do from. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much. Well, hopefully you all had a bit of a breather and caught your breath and got that at home. Uh, we're going to challenge Dave again to another encouraging word from the Bible. Are you ready, Dave? Yeah. It's a bit of a long one, um, but actually the answers are easy, mate. Okay. So faith comes from hearing the blank blank, and people hear the blank blank when someone tells them about blank. And this is from Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Okay, would you like it again, Dave? Okay, so faith comes from hearing the blank blank, and people hear the blank blank when someone tells them about blank. And it's from... Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Right, this is difficult. Right, let's hear the options because I haven't got a clue. Um, bad news? Good news. Good news. <laughs> Christ. And Dave. So we had good news, bad news, Christ and Dave there, Dave. <laughs> right, okay. So, so I'll read it and you can fill it in, okay? Right. So faith comes from hearing the blank blank. Well, I think it's good news, but yeah. That's, I think that's a good option. Yeah. And people hear the blank blank. Good news. Good news, yes. When someone tells them about... Oh, Dave, I was saying that. Oh, oh no, no, sorry. Uh, Obviously, it's not Dave, is it? It's Christ, isn't it? Oh, it is yeah. Christ. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. I'm just used to saying my own name. <laughs> so the good news is about Jesus, which is absolutely awesome. Okay. Yeah. Take a break at home, see if you remember that, and we'll come back with question three in a moment. Thank you, everybody. You're doing really, really well at helping out here. hope you're uh, getting them at home. So this is um, word of encouragement number three. And uh, it's a real short one, Dave. That's good. I like really short. Yeah. Okay. So here you go. Uh, Always be full uh, of blank. Never stop blank. And this is from... 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to 17. Okay, so I shouldn't need to repeat that one, Dave. Let's have the answers. Yeah. Moaning. Running. Praying. Joy. So you have moaning, running, praying, and joy. So are you ready, Dave? Always be full of what? Well, it's, it's got to be joy. Oh, I thought you were going to say moaning. That just seems <laughs> funny. <laughs> Well, that's what I was doing this morning, wasn't it, when we first came on, Guy? But it was, now yeah. I'm full of joy because of all these happy people that are around us. Oh, fantastic. Uh, okay, so always be full of joy and never stop. Uh, well, I'm not going to say running because I'm not a fan of running, actually. So I'm going to say praying. I like praying. praying. It is. Well done. Excellent. Fantastic. Have a little think. Did you get it right? Can you remember it? 
and wait for the next one. Sure. So, so Dave, there are loads of words of encouragement. This is our final one. We've only got time for four this morning. Um, this again is a short one, pretty much. Good. It also helps in telling us how to build our relationship <laughs> with Jesus so we can get through those difficult times and actually through those times of suffering that we talked about last week. So here we go. Ready? Never stop blank. Be ready for anything by blank and being blank. And that is from? Chapter 4, verse 2. Cool. Okay, so I'll repeat it again. Never stop blank. Be ready for anything by blank and being blank. And that is from? Colossians chapter 4, verse 2. And so these are the four options. Here we go. Willing to do anything. Thankful. Pray. Meeting. Interesting four options there, Dave. Yeah. Willing to do anything. Thankful. Praying and eating. So what's your answers? Well, are you going to say the verse and that? I'll you'd and... like me to remind you, would you? Okay, so yeah. never stop. So never stop. Well, one of my favourite things is eating, but I know it's not that one. That was the I... right answer. <laughs> is it? Yeah, what's well that? Never stop eating? That's correct, yeah. Oh, amazing. <laughs> no, it's not, Dave, sorry. Oh, you tricked me. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I, I think because it's the Bible, it's going to be never stop praying. But, okay. Yeah. Amy and Abigail did such a great job of doing just praying as well. So it's going to be praying. So. That's right. Be, be ready for anything by praying and being... Thankful. Thankful, that's right, Dave. Well done, mate. You've got them right. And actually, there's loads. You can go to those Paul's letters. There's 13 key letters in all for you to read all those verses. And um, it's brilliant. Paul wrote so many verses that are words of encouragement. And uh, just like these guys here, having you guys here today has been encouraging to me and Dave. And uh, thank you very much. Brilliant. Thank you. Everybody Thank you. at home. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Cool. Well, cool, that was exhausting, but it was great fun. And hopefully you learnt a few Bible verses. The great thing about that Bible verse session was there was no water in sight. Yes. After last week, Dave. Well, yeah, thanks to everybody for helping out. Um, and it was great to see everybody from different churches different backgrounds yeah did you know guy that no. we actually had a massive age range we had someone in there that was two like two years old and we had okay. someone i won't say who but someone that is 92 <sighs> well we know it's not me anyway <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that that just shows though doesn't it that actually uh the church is made up of so many different people all ages Jesus wants to know and be there for everybody not just for a certain age group a certain type of person but Jesus wants to know us all and um, it was brilliant but is what was amazing was despite his sufferings um, Paul was able to write over 13 letters uh, of encouragement during his time in prison there is just one little thing though that we do need to remember Dave hmm. yeah is that Paul uh, in his letter to Timothy, says this. He says, every part of the Bible is God-breathed. It's useful for one way or another, showing us truth, which is really encouraging, mm. ex exposing, though, the way we go against God. Well, yeah. mm. uh, it can be used for correcting our mistakes. But what is great it is there for training us to live God's way. And that's brilliant. Awesome. Uh, and yeah, and through God's word, we are put together and shaped up for the tasks that God has for us. Mm. So wow. remember that, guys. Uh, the Bible's there to just help us, encourage us, support us, mould us, change us into who God wants us to be. Mm. Will you be willing to let God use you? What's very exciting about that is it leads on to our next song. What's our next song, Dave? Well, our next song is... 
Jesus, You're My Superhero, which is one of my favourites. Um, there's loads of cool actions, and we'll go over to Guy and Dave from a few minutes ago, and we're going to show you what the song looks like and what it sounds like. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, well, thanks, Dave, for that. Uh, you do pick some energetic songs for us to try and follow and do actions to, but hopefully everybody at home is able to follow them. Now, uh, Paul, besides writing loads of words of encouragement, loads of words to help us live God's way, he was an absolute brilliant guy at writing prayers. So I'm going to finish this bit with a prayer that Paul actually wrote. So don't forget, at the end of it, we go, Amen. Um, let's pray. And Paul writes this, I ask the Father in his great glory to give you the power to be strong in spirit, that God will give you the strength through his spirit. I pray that Christ will live in your hearts because of your faith. And I pray that your life will be strong in love and built on love. And I pray that you and God's people will have the power to understand the greatness of God's love, how wide it is, how high it is, how low it is, how deep it is, Christ's love is greater than any person can ever know. Amen. Amen. So Paul was fantastic at writing letters, prayers, being a real encouragement to us, a real encouragement to those guys that were on earlier. So maybe we should uh, wrap up with uh, today's activity. Uh, and that is a challenge to uh, write a letter, write a postcard, just write some 
words of encouragement to somebody you know. It could even be texting uh, or messenger or whatever. Well, Dave, you feeling a little bit better, mate? Oh, yeah, I'm feeling really encouraged now. Yeah. Right, okay. Now, I've learned a little bit about writing letters and things to say. Just drop a few words down for you, all right? And then I'll pass them on to you. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That's all right, mate. It's been good. It's been great working with you these last few weeks. Yeah, you too. Good. And, um, oh, that reminds me. Actually, you know what? Last few weeks, well, we're not on Saturdays over the summer in August. We've got one more next week, uh, but we've got something special, hopefully, in August. Right. Yeah. Okay, you ready there, done, Dave? Yep. Cool. Awesome, right? I'm going to have a look. So these are all the things that Guy has said about me, right? So, so he's, he's written, oh, all right. Handsome, good looking, a really good dancer, great hair, um, and uh, I'm my hero. Oh, I'm your hero, Guy. Oh, that's, that's really nice. Mate, mate, I think you're reading the wrong piece of paper. Okay, all right. Try the bit I threw at you. Uh, so the yeah, so the what guy you've actually written about me? Yeah, okay. But he's, so he's put awesome, a good listener, flexible, encouraging and understanding, and loves Jesus. Oh well, guy, thank you. That's really encouraging. That's all right, mate. Yeah, I think that's a real positive way to finish. Guy and Dave, summer term, best bits next week. And then something special during August. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go and write a letter for you now, Guy. So I'll I'll see you all later. But I'm feeling really encouraged and really cheered up now. So, awesome. Yeah. Cool. Right. Well. Bye, everyone. And of course, don't forget you can always do that for your family. You know, sit at home, try and encourage each other, and try and help each other using God's word because God's word is, of course, awesome.